Hey guys, it's Mrs. Kleinley with this week's First Chapter Friday. This week, I'm excited to be talking to you about Stella Diaz Has Something to Say. This is a realistic fiction book that I love for many, many reasons. Our main character, Stella Diaz, um, is going through some things in life that probably most of our Palmer students can relate to. Um, And then she also is going through some other things in her life um, that definitely some of our Palmer kids can relate to. So let's dive into this because I think this is a book that just a lot of kids will connect to. So Stella is a third grader living in Chicago. Her parents got divorced a couple years ago, and her dad lives all the way over in Colorado, and she doesn't get to see him a whole lot. And Stella's family is Spanish-speaking, and at school, she sometimes isn't always pronouncing the English words necessarily properly. And as a result of that, some kids sometimes are snickering or teasing her, especially when it comes to like her reading aloud or doing presentations in front of the class. Her very, very best friend, Jenny, is put into a different homeroom for third grade. So she's feeling very lonely and kind of by herself. And then the like school bully ends up in her class. So she's not really off to a great start in third grade. Um, And then she goes on to find out about these other terms like immigration and citizenship and the term alien. And Stella is living in the country legally, but she's not actually a United States citizen. So that's something that's weighing on her a little bit too. So there's like some huge topics in here. And then some other topics that like every kid is going through, topics dealing with friendship and loneliness and, and things like that. So let's dive into this because I think a lot of our Palmer kids are really going to enjoy this one. So here we go. Chapter one. The smell of albondigas fills the house when my brother Nick and I come home. Time for our weekly appointment, says Nick, walking in the direction of the kitchen. I nod, and my mouth starts to water as soon as I follow him toward the sizzling food. Around the corner, I see Mom performing her magic over a large pot on the stove. Her eyes are closed as she carefully tastes some tomato sauce with a wooden spoon. She's still wearing her work clothes, except she has an apron and slippers instead of high heels. Mom works every day in an office, which means she can't make dinner during the weeknights, except Fridays, better known as our weekly appointment. It's also the night we play board games past our regular bedtime. Miss Babies, Mom exclaims when she sees us. She spreads her arms wide to give us big hugs and kisses. Can I help, Mom? I ask, wiping lipstick off my cheek. Of course, Stella. Do you want to boil el spaghetti? Why, I go change me ropa? She tugs at her clothes and takes off her apron. I say, see, but inside I giggle. While mom speaks both English and Spanish perfectly, strangers say that she has an accent. To me, it's just the way she speaks. Although every once in a while, I can hear that she says a word a little funny like spaghetti. When mom returns to the kitchen, she's wearing an oversized shirt and jeans instead of her business suit. She leans over the pot of simmering albondigas, wiggles her nose, and takes a deep sniff. Mom says that you can always smell when the food is ready. She looks at me and she gives me a thumbs up. Stella, grab the platos, por favor, says mom. I put the plates on the table while Nick helps mom carry the food. She scoops some espaghetti and albondigas on my plate. While she passes it to me, she makes sure to pull off the bay leaf. Mom says the bay leaf gives the albondigas their extra saber, but we shouldn't eat it. Nick serves himself. Mom still likes to treat me like a baby, even though I'm in third grade. As soon as we start eating together, Mom asks, So how was your week at school, niños? Nick starts talking right away as he twirls his spaghetti with his fork. Pretty good. I think I'm going to join the basketball team this year. Jason and Adam are joining too. Nick is in eighth grade and the middle school kids get to play sports. Mom smiles. You're going to get so strong. Nick blushes. Yeah, plus it's going to make it even easier to beat Stella at arm wrestling. I'll just practice more, I say, and I stick out my tongue at him. Mom doesn't get mad. She rarely does. She only gets mad when there's hair pulling or name calling, which doesn't happen too often. She also won't take sides as much as I want her to sometimes. Instead, she just laughs it off as, what about you, Stella? How was your week? Amazing. Today, Ms. Bell said we're going to start sustained reading in class. That means we get to read quietly. I think I'm going to read about fishes because of Poncho, I say. Mom says, that sounds fun. I bet Poncho is going to appreciate it. Poncho is my beta fish. That is a type of fish that likes to be alone. They can be as colorful as the rainbow, but Poncho is mostly blue, which is my favorite color. 
I like that Poncho likes to be alone and it's okay being quiet. Mom winks at me. Anything else? Oh, Ms. Bell also said that we're going to have a new student next week. I hope it's a girl so she can play with Jenny and me. It's hard to play tag when it's only two people. I say while I slurp up a noodle. Well, I'm certain whoever it is, they will be nice. Just be sure to make them feel comfortable and be my sweet Stella, she says. I nod my head promise. All right, guys, I'm going to stop there. Um, one thing that I really like about this book is that um, if you, there's a lot of Spanish words, as you probably heard, that are incorporated into the story, and they give enough context clues, I think, that even if you're not Spanish speaking or you're not familiar with the Spanish language, you probably can figure out you know, what the word is just based on the context clues around it, which I think is pretty helpful. And there's also some little you know, it's definitely a chapter book. Um, it's not a picture book, but there's cute illustrations throughout, which I think um, definitely helps with comprehension and then just entertainment as well. So again, our book this week is Stella Diaz Has Something to Say by Angela Dominguez. It's in our realistic fiction section under D-O-M for Dominguez. I hope you enjoy. Happy reading. <laughs>